Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Hey Kat. hey, Kat. Hi, yeah, I'm Kat with Black Girl Nerds. It's a pleasure speaking with you both. I got a chance to uh, see a couple episodes, and I love the show, so thank you. Oh, good. Okay. Um, Robert, I'd like to start, you know, how would you describe the relationship between Caretaker and Anna? Um, it's a relationship of the mind. Um, it's, it's grown, you know, there was a... Uh, a moment when he was looking out for her well-being uh, as a as a orphan child, but then it became uh, something else, and I I really can't put a word on what that something else is, but it's it's a mixture of um, of affection, but also a real strain of as she becomes her own woman and the breaking away of that. So what happens um, with fathers and daughters, you know, you get that bond uh, and then the daughter becomes really fond of the, of the father as he grows older. Uh, here you have, we're just meeting them at the stage where it's just a wicked pull. And, um, uh, and but uh, the darkness that she's going into is relentless and that's, that causes a fear in me of, of her getting swallowed up. And mm -hmm. so um, that's our, that's, that's where we begin. Yeah. And Elizabeth, you play, uh, well, you play a chilling character, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Uh, what were some of the challenges that you face, you know, playing that, bringing that character to life? You know, it was just so much fun getting to play all the keys on the piano. Um, I, didn't feel, um, I don't know if, if challenged is the word because it was exhilarating. It was just so much fun because also as a woman, it's rare that I get to explore all of that territory. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I loved the opportunity creatively to get to go everywhere and to have that kind of power. Yeah. Uh, and, and not, you know, to be able to live in, in the territory of being a compassionate, nurturing mother, uh, a victim of trauma, and then be the causer of the trauma that dominates everyone, um, and doesn't have to move a muscle to command the universe. Uh, that's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> So what, for both of you, what attracted you to, you know, the show? Well, for, you know, for me, the, the things that I just listed as an actor getting to play all of that, but also I have a 14 year old son who's been reading comics since he could read. And uh, so he was bouncing off the walls when I told him I got this job. Uh, so that mm -hmm. was definitely a major attraction aside from just the, the creative joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you get a call, I mean, Marvel puts such a, a strong imprint on our cultural imagination now mm -hmm. um, that to have a chance to, to play in that realm and then to play in them breaking into a whole new aspect of themselves, rebranding re in a sense um, to include the supernatural and to tell a story from that realm as opposed to the fantasy realm. It, it's just really, it was too, too good to, to, to be true. And yeah. uh, I, I jumped at it. I jumped at it. That's awesome. You know, Marvel, like you said, Marvel has some amazing fan, amazing fan base. How has the reaction been for you? Have you had any interactions with the fans yet? Well, suddenly my son's friends really want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, not not yet because of the isolation. Um, mm -hmm. So I can just see it from afar through digital media, but I just see the momentum building up, and it's really, it's really just kind of within our little, our little group, our group of actors and and producers and. And all of us are just really this is about to hit the world. And um, uh, this is really, 
I guess it's as close to being pregnant that I'll ever know. You know, but it's a pregnant <laughs> you know, it's about to give birth. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, blah 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 blah. blah. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so season one is out and I'm hoping there will be a season two. Um, what was the vibe like on set as you, you know, this is a pretty scary topic and I imagine were, were people praying before the start of every day? <laughs> like, what yeah, happening? it's amazing. It, it's so, I, and I find this often, the darker the territory of the what we're making, the lighter the energy is, because we all have this outlet to pour all of our aggression and our rage mm -hmm. and our fear that then we can walk away and, and feel kind of joyful that that isn't our life. It also helped that it was a really awesome group of people. There was not an asshole. Like everyone yeah. was really terrific and yeah. consistently yeah. terrific. And we all yeah. genuinely liked each other and wanted to go to work together. So, um, that was awesome and rare. And if, you know, as Bob and I have spent quite a few years doing what we do, we know how rare that is and to really favor it when it comes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we, we, we look forward when we had the chance to go out and have dinner together and hang out. And, uh, yeah. you know, these, this is, um, this is special. And uh, you, I think the, I remember one night Sydney and I, just broke out and singing Brazilian love songs, you know, and, uh, you know, at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right, one night. <laughs> so, yeah, so it, it was, uh, it, it's memorable and, you know, it's one for the, one for the ages. Has there been, you know, a scene or a moment that was just too intense to shoot or that you had to kind of gather your wits about you to get through it? I had a few. I had a few. I had to work a lot with the kids. And um, although they were unbelievable, those kids, they were awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, both fantastic actors and also just lovely, hardworking kids. But um, there was some territory because it is, I mean, this show, like, I, I feel like there are shows that say they're scary. You know, it's, it's frightening. But this is, this is freaking scary it is yeah. dark and it is relentlessly dark and i am a big fan of horror i love this genre and this goes to some very dark disturbing gross places <laughs> and there were moments that i really felt responsible for sort of you know body blocking the kids from some of the things that were in the room or you know distract them from what was happening over there <laughs> and yeah. um yeah yeah wow yeah no, it's, 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 you know, there's a responsibility, even though we've all chosen to do this and the parents are there and they take care of the kids and we all, but this is so intense working at these extremes uh, to put a young, fragile mind. And I'm, I sit in amazement that they can handle this, this dialogue and talking back and, and, and embodying these, this, this world. Mm -hmm. Um, and what impact will it have? I mean, I ask those questions. It's real. And so in the midst of that, um, yeah, there were moments that uh, you feel it, those emotions tremble in you. You know, um, I can't tell you what they are, but I had a couple of distinct ones um, that I won't forget. There was also, there's a hospital, mm -hmm. a very old, massive hospital that we filmed at okay. uh, in Vancouver that is beyond question haunted. And yes, that absolutely. was intense and terrifying. And it was also, there were a few instances where when I was embodying the demon, my mm -hmm. voice has to be at a very specific place. Like everything you hear, there is no sound effect. That's me. Amazing. It's all organically <laughs> me. But I had to really mess with my voice to get it in that place. So sometimes I'd be alone in the cast tent making these very bizarre demonic sounds and a few like one time I remember a security guy threw the curtain back with his club and was like he thought a bear had gotten oh my God. <laughs> and he was completely freaked out and there were some crew members that would not stand close to me at the craft service table because I think I made them very uncomfortable 
Wow. That I mean that just makes the show even even ten times better. So thank you for that insight. It's been such a pleasure talking with both of you and oh thank you. Best Likewise. of luck with the season and I hope there's a season two. Thank you. All right, Mitch. Thank See you, you Miss Nerd. <laughs> <laughs>